We are at Lancaster Municipal Stadium here in Lancaster, California, and we are going to watch uh, a brand new team in a brand new league. Today is the home opener for the brand new team, the Soundbreakers, the Lancaster Soundbreakers. Uh, they are in the Pecos League. It's an independent baseball league. It's not affiliated with any um, major league teams, and um, they operate pretty much in the Southwest. I guess from like Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico. Um, I even have a ball from this league, from the Roswell team, that has a little alien on it. Oh, I remember you showing me that. This stadium actually used to be where the Colorado Rockies minor team played, which was the Jethawks, and they shut that down. The MLB got rid of like 30 teams a couple years ago, and one of them was the Jethawks. Wow. It still says Jethawks on the stadium, as a matter of fact, because this is so brand new. And the reason we're over here in this little corner and all that is because it's super windy. It's actually 25 mile an hour winds with even higher gusts. It's crazy, so we can't even walk around hardly. Watch, look at this bird. This bird can't even barely walk, and he's a bird. Anyway, we are here super early. We didn't know what time the gates opened. There was no notice on the tickets or on the website, but apparently it's one hour before the game. So we don't get to watch batting practice, but we're going to be some of the first people in there and check out this new team. All right, so we're in. Yep. We're the first people in. They let us in early. Uh, nothing's open yet, but we're gonna go try to get a ball first thing. We gotta go before everybody gets here. All right, here we are. Let's get a spot. You could actually probably start looking through the through the seats for one. Put, look at this one too, right in the bushes. Oh my gosh, can I grab it? All right, so you got, uh, that's two. But they don't have any, uh, they're not the, the Pecos League balls. Yeah, so they're just their batting practice ones. We're gonna get, we gotta get a game, game ball. That's it for uh, batting practice, it looks like. I know they were in here for a while before they opened the gates, so I don't know how long, you know, but at least an hour. But yeah. they're done, so let's wander. sure if they're doing a special event yeah. or whatever but uh, it's about 15 minutes till the game's supposed to start and uh, we've been sitting here watching them warm up. So they don't have a store here yet. I was noticing that when I was walking around. In fact what they have is uh, a couple tables. They are selling a few things. They had some t-shirts, some hats, some jerseys. They did not have any balls for sale, even though I did see them online that they do have them for sale, but they just don't have any here. He said they were out. Uh. And we got to get a game ball because both of the balls that you got uh, were just practice balls that had nothing on them. They're dirty and all that, and they're not the logo balls uh, that say sound breakers on them. And that's what we're going to try to get. So here's the concession stand line. They do not have enough open. So if you look down here, it wraps around and through here. That's a pretty long line. Oh, 
Ja. So I think we're at the bottom of the first inning right now. Yeah. And uh, one thing I wanted to bring up is uh, we don't know that. Because if you look, they have uh, the board over here and it, it, it doesn't, right over here, and it doesn't say anything. And even if it was lit up or anything like that, it'd be super hard to read with the sun shining right on it like that. So. Maybe, I mean, it's been there a long time, so maybe they're, they're, they light up, but they're not using it. So we have no idea what uh, inning it is, what's the count. I know. Anything. So it's kind of weird. And they got that sound or that board up there. I don't know if it only can do some pictures or, or what, but used, I wish they would use it. Earlier today, I saw that that did have the balls, the outs, and the strikes. Mm, so they just don't know how to work it maybe yet. So something they need to work out for sure. I know. It is the first game, so... But this was the Jethawks before. Yeah, this, this is Jethawks Stadium, and, and yes, all that stuff used to work. So, so I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah. Oh. So there was a foul ball that bounced over uh, on the third base side and it went over the fence and out into the parking lot. And nobody went out there to get it, so I walked out and got it. And it was just a regular ball, no logo. So I tossed it uh, to a kid. So then uh, you just got tossed another ball. Yes. Yeah, one came down the third base line and uh, he handed it to you. That's pretty cool. It's just a regular minor league ball. We're gonna sit over here. We'll probably get a couple more, I imagine. Yeah. All right. First home run by the Soundbreakers. It's a solo home run. Now it's eight to three, bottom of the third. All right, so I missed it, but that was a grand slam by the train robbers, which brings the score to eight to eight. So we think it's 13 to nine, but we have no idea. Scoreboard, no scoreboard, no scoreboard. And it is definitely the bottom of the seventh because we just did the uh, take me out to the ball game. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Uh, something funny is that this game started at what? 6.40 and it is now pretty much 10 o'clock, 9.43. Yeah, so this has been over three hours already. So I just got a ball from one of the train robbers. It was a third out ball and he was in left field running by. He chucked it to me. So that's another one. That's my third actually. And um, we've gotten a few over here, this group right here. They've thrown a few over this way. There's not a whole lot of people out here. We still got two more innings and maybe an hour and a half to go. <laughs> yeah. So, almost four hours later, they got this thing going. Don't know if it works. It's been four hours. One more inning to go. Yep. And we do have to play the bottom because uh, the sound breakers are behind. Yeah. So we're playing one full inning. So five more outs because they just got an out. All right, see in between the uh, top and the bottom of the ninth, you got one of the train robbers over here signing stuff for the kids. That's pretty cool. We're going to go. Technically, they're not supposed to. No, not during the game. Hey, Bird, let it fly. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so what'd you get? Lineup card. The lineup card for the very first Soundbreakers game. That's cool. And two in a row. Yeah. Awesome. You saw, you see what I got just a second ago, too? The last foul ball. Yeah, so successful game.
anyway, four and a half hours later, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> game's over and Soundbreaker's lost. But it was a fun game. So number 11 right there kind of signaled you out uh, from up at the top of the, the stand here saying he wanted to give you a ball. I know. That was pretty nice. So you got another one. All right, so that's it. We're out of here. Our adventure at the very first Soundbreakers game is over. Yes. And we're going to get home at like midnight. Yes. Yes, and we got here at like four. Yeah, <laughs> so like four hours. All right. Well, anyway, I had a good time. Me too. Seven balls combined yes. and, a, and a lineup card. Uh-huh. That was cool. All right, we're out of here. Yes. All right, the, the wind calmed down just a little bit. That's good, and we're about to walk in.